So it's an October day and I am in the greenhouse where we'll be doing this study on plant sap analysis in cold hardy citrus and avocados. And I wanted to show you the tree that actually got me going on the research in terms of nutrient management. Um, this particular tree, for since it was uh, planted in 2014, has had remarkable flavor, really beautiful color. And this spring, it, it didn't color up normally, and when I ate it, I thought, oh, the flesh doesn't taste as good. I must have a nutrient issue. And so I started researching how to deal with citrus, and I came upon plant sap analysis. And uh, actually, I started doing it in August. And, um, but through my readings, I realized that I, was a I would be able to deal with some of the nutrient disorders that are as a result of cold temperatures in the soil because this greenhouse will get to four degrees in the winter time and uh, down to one sometimes and the soil level is way below what even the cold hardy citrus association will recommend for um, uh, nutrient, nutrient uptake. At any rate, I started treating this uh, tree and um, I am starting to see some results in um, giving it some foliars and, but I would like to really understand what's going on. So the second um, tree that I want to focus on is a navel orange. And you can see it's got quite a lovely crop on it. And this tree has produced very well, but, and the color is gorgeous. The size is big. This has got another two months before it's ready. Um, but the flesh will be quite dry. So I figure that is also something that I could really deal with in terms of understanding what's not being taken up. It's probably potassium and various other things that are related to potassium uptake. So that is another um, crop that will benefit from understanding how nutrients are moving. And then I wanted to show you the avocados and you can follow me through. For interest's sake, there's lemons and and this is cardamom and a cold hardy banana that's actually fruiting. Right there. This is another type of kumquat that's uh, really got a lot of fruit on it. The one that I'm studying is a nagami kumquat, which has a very difficult time in the winter and has the potential to produce a lot. And then we're into the avocados. And this is a, a small avocado that will ripen next um, May or June. And I'm lucky to have another variety called Holiday, which actually is ripening right now. So you can see the fruit on the tree. And a lot of this fruit is veering towards one pound. And this is next year's baby. And I have four other avocado trees that are incredibly beautiful, but they are not producing. They're, they're flowering like crazy and uh, they aren't setting fruit. And so this study hopefully will help me to um, get these trees uh, with, uh, to actually produce fruit. But I wanted to show you, this is avocado I picked maybe two weeks ago and I put it on the counter to ripen and I have been getting rave reviews for these avocados and we'll hope this one's a really good one. And there you can see the inside of it and it's soft and pretty ready to eat. So I hope that helps you understand what I'm up to here. Thank you.